in an average male's lifespan, he will probably have sex with 20 girls, right? An average male, seven and a half, six and a half and below. Seven and below. Let's just say that, okay? For simple math. An average women's lifespan, she'll have sex with 50 in the West. That already tells you how much big of an advantage they're at than us. And on top of that, you're approaching her you were give her free validation. You're complimenting her right and left. My dude, come on now. Just think it, think for a second. Why would she give it up to you when you're just another fan on her Instagram page? You're treating her like a celebrity. She's going to treat you like a fan. Simple as that. How many girls are you talking to right now? Three maybe, two, three, five, and max. That's, that's, that's like almost at player mode, full on player mode. If you're talking to five girls right now, if you have a rotation of five girls right now, that's almost at a player mode. Good for you, bro. Talk about average guys. Three maybe, you may be talking to three of them. You probably haven't slept with any of them. Probably t just talking to three girls, right? How many girl guys do you think she's talking to? or she has in her roster, in her list. At least 12, four times more than yours, at least. She has more option than the drive through menu, guys. You know when you go through the drive through and you see single cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, triple cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, single bacon cheeseburger, double bacon, triple bacon, Patty melt, breakfast burritos, snacks, desserts. She has all of that. She has a stud in her list. She has a guy who makes $50,000 or more in her list. She has a guy who is giving her Instagram likes on her list, who she will probably never sleep with. She has a guy who's taking her to free dates every Friday night. She has a guy who's running her errands, who's pumping air in her tire. She has a guy who's moving her furniture when she's moving from one, from one place to another place. She has a guy who's paying her bills. Do you have any of that? I don't even ask girls, I don't even take girls out on dates anymore. My first date is to my place. Hey, you come over. We'll watch a movie. We'll hang out and watch a movie. If you don't want to have sex the first time, that's fine. But we'll be cuddling. We'll be watching a movie. That's quality time we're going to spend together. I'll tell them that. Hey, we're not spending quality time when we go out. We're sitting across from each other, talking about stuff that neither of us really care about. We both know why we're here. Well... Yeah, we both know why we're here. You know why you're here. If you want to go on a date with me outside, that means you haven't made up your mind yet to have sex with me. So you are testing the waters at my expenses because you want me to pay for the date when I'm the one who's not going to be getting any sex for sure yet. Do you, do you see how, how already you are at, at a unfair advantage? Unfair disadvantage? Obviously, we, all, we know why the guy is there. So when you come back to my place, we both know why we're here, right? There's no gray area. It's black and white. You're here because you're attracted, attracted enough to me to know that if not today, then maybe the second time you're here, we're going to have sex. For the most part, if she's coming over the first time, you you guys are going to have sex, but you get the point, right? So I don't even take, I don't, this is 2020, guys. 
I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? Independent. It means you can pay for me, for my date. You can pay for the date as well. You make your own money, right? Why would I pay for you? And you can say, oh, well, you don't have to pay for me. We can pay for ourselves, each other. Well, I don't even want to pay for myself. Because that says, if I don't go out, that saves me the money to even not paying for myself. Why do I need to pay anything for anyone's time? You're paying for people's time. Yeah, you can say that you can buy yourself, you're buying, you're treating yourself, but if she wasn't there, if you weren't going out on that date with her, would you be going out there at that place by yourself and buying yourself that whatever you bought her or bought yourself there when you're with her? Would you buy that? Would you spend that, that amount of time if she wasn't there, if you guys weren't at that date, would you go there by yourself? No, you wouldn't. So don't tell me this BS. Don't give me this BS how you're treating yourself. If you're the type of guy who honestly goes out by himself and shops for himself and goes to restaurants by himself and eats by himself, he likes to try out different things, he, likes, he honestly likes to treat himself, there are guys out there who I know, complete lone wolves, then yeah, that's fine. But most of us wouldn't be doing that if the girl wasn't there. So that's still the wrong way to think. I'm here to give you guys options to think about, right? You have to clear this in between the, your ears. You have, to you have to have clarity in there. Then everything becomes so clear to you to see. That you can, you can see through anybody's and anything's BS. Straight through it when you have clarity in your mind. That's all I'm trying to do here, guys. So even if she's a dime piece, I'm not going to take her out anywhere. We're going to come back to my place. You're going to come to my place. And if you're not getting along with that program and you don't offer me a counter offer, you don't offer me, okay, we should do this instead, I'm not even going to bother texting you. I'm not even going to tell you, okay, hit me up when you change your mind or let me know when you want to hang out. None of that, just complete silence. Because for those of you who have been left on red, who have had that silent treatment, which is pretty much all of you guys, every single guy has had that treatment at some point in your life, you know how painful that is. So I want you guys to start doing the same thing to them. Because you don't know there what she's thinking if you get the silent treatment. If you're in the, if you, are you in good terms with her, are you in bad terms, are you in terrible terms, you don't know anything. And that's where I want you guys to leave her at, confusion. Because she already has so many options, guys. So why, what makes you think you're going to stand out in her list doing the exact same thing these dozens of other guys are doing for her? What makes you think that? Unless you have a yacht, a private jet, a Lamborghini, Ferrari, you shouldn't ask her out on anything. Because there's nothing you can offer to her that she hasn't seen or been been offered been offered by another guy. And if you have those things, Ferrari, Lamborghini, a yacht, $10 million house, you're probably not even watching my videos. You don't need to. You're, you, you've been red-pilled before I was born, probably. <laughs> This is how you need to respect your own time because they're not going to do it. They're just not going to do it. You have to do it yourself. Guys, they have way more options than we do. Way more options. Your average four gets 50 matches a week on Tinder. Not matches, 50 guys swiping on them a week. And that's a really, really conservative number. An average four. So what makes you think you're going to stand out in her list? Nothing. You're not. Save your time. And interact with high quality, high interest women. Because those are the women who's going to want to come back to your place and have sex with you. The first time you offer them. Yeah, you can still get with 
low interest and medium interest women. But I don't want you guys even thinking about that until you have your life in order. Once you start making six figures or more, seven figures or more, until that point, you shouldn't have even been thinking about messing around with low interest, medium interest girls. Just next her immediately. Yeah, you're going to have to next a lot of girls. I get it. So what? Abundance mindset. So what? There's billions of girls on this planet. So what? Move on to the next one. You need to think yourself to yourself when you next a girl that, man, I did myself a favor and she lost. I did myself a favor by sending her to the next victim. The next victim of her games that she's going to, going, going to be playing. You weren't that victim. You dodged the bullet. And it's her loss because she just lost an amazing opportunity in her life. Because the guy that she's going to have sex with, those are losers. You have your stuff together in your life. And you're asking her out like a gentleman, right? You're trying to be a gentleman. So that means you have, most likely have good intentions for her. But she doesn't care about that. So it's her loss. You have to think, every time you approach a girl, you have to think you're doing her a favor. That way... Only that way you can start pedestalizing yourself over her. And you'll never pedestalize her anymore. I'll make another video on how you should approach and what kind of things to say and this and that. Hope this video made sense. Give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Share to the channel. Share these videos from the channel. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.